This video provides an introduction to the process for completing an evaluation for a new surficial well using the Surficial Well Evaluation Tool, or SWET. In this video, we will demonstrate how to access the SWET app, how to perform a drawdown analysis for two surficial wells, and how to submit results to permit writers. To access the SWET app, enter SWET .apps.aquaveo.com in the address bar of your web browser. This will bring you to the SWET app login page. If this is your first time using the SWET app, you will need to sign up for an account. This is done by clicking the sign up link at the bottom of the login page. To sign up using the form, enter a username of your choice your email address, and a password. Then, enter the CAPTCHA security string in the last box and click Sign Up. You also have the option of signing up with a Google account. This can be done by clicking on Sign Up with Google. You will be asked to enter your Google login credentials to create the account. If you already have an account on SWET, you may log in by entering your login credentials. If you previously signed up with your Google account, you may log in by clicking the Login with Google button. You will be brought to the Apps Library page after logging in. If you were brought to a different page, click on the Apps link to navigate to the Apps Library page. Click on the Surficial Well Evaluation Tool app tile to launch the app. Next, you will need to select the model boundary that contains the location of your evaluation. In this case, you will select the Eastern Shore model boundary. Click Load this location to load your evaluations for the Eastern Shore model. To create a new evaluation, click on the Add button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Give the evaluation a descriptive name and select an evaluation type. Click Create to add the new evaluation to your Evaluations table. Press the Begin button to begin a new evaluation. Now you can begin defining the parameters of your evaluation. This is done by completing a series of steps shown on the left. The first step is to define well locations. This is done by using the map on the right. Before proceeding, will describe the different tools that are available on the map. The plus and minus buttons allow you to zoom in and out. You can also zoom in and out by rolling the wheel on your mouse. Clicking the Home button returns the display to the default view. The Point tool is used to draw points at well locations. The Move tool can be used to move points that have been previously drawn. The Delete tool can be used to delete points. The Modify tool can also be used to move points. The Pan tool can be used to pan around the area of interest. Additionally, you can pan while other tools are active by pressing and holding the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. We will now demonstrate how to complete each step of the evaluation. The first step is to define the locations of the wells on the map. Instructions for this step are given in the left panel. Select the Pan tool and then pan and zoom to the location of the wells. Use the aerial imagery to help you identify the correct location. Once you have found the correct location, select the Point tool and then click once at the desired location. Each point requires a location name, a well depth in feet below the surface, and the screen interval. Repeat the process to add additional wells to the evaluation if needed. Click Next to continue. In this step, you will enter the pumping rate. Instructions for this step are given in the left panel. Enter the desired pumping rate for your well and select the appropriate units. 
If there are multiple wells in your evaluation, enter the maximum pumping rate. Click Next to continue. In this step, you will review the well information and run the evaluation. Instructions for this step are given in the left panel. Review the well locations and pumping rate information that you provided in earlier steps. If you need to change the values from a previous step, click on the step name on the left. Make the necessary changes and press Next to continue. When you are satisfied with the well information, click Run to run the evaluation. After clicking Run, a table showing the status of the evaluation run will be displayed. The status table displays a description of the task that is running, the time at which it was created, and the current status of the task. The job chart displays the progress of each stage of the evaluation run and whether or not that stage completed successfully. The first stage is labeled TIM ML Analysis. TIM ML is the groundwater model being used to perform the evaluation. Each run usually takes about six minutes to complete. It is not necessary to stay on this page while the evaluation is running. You may leave the page and return later to continue the evaluation. When the run completes successfully, click Next to continue. In the final step, you will review the results of the evaluation, which includes a map of the area of impact. The area of impact represents the aerial extent of each aquifer where more than one foot of drawdown is predicted to occur due to the proposed withdrawal. Additional information about this step is given in the panel on the left. Selecting the Layers tab on the left allows you to select whether to show or hide any of the objects drawn in the map display. You may be required to submit certain artifacts from the evaluation with your well application. To download the Area of Impact layer, click on the button with three dots on the right of the one-foot contoured layer. From the menu that appears, select Download. This will download a zip archive that contains a shapefile with the area of impact. Repeat the process on the well locations layer to obtain a shapefile of the well locations. The Summary Table tab contains the information you entered for each well in table format. Included in the table are the well names, well depths, screen data, coordinates, and pumping rates. To download the summary table, press the CSV button. The Copy button will copy the contents of the table to the clipboard. The Print tool will open a print safe version of the table. Click Finish to complete your evaluation and return to the Eastern Shore Evaluations table. Finally, Submit the printed results with the application.